Welcome back to the Curious Eight Podcast. Part two of Valentine's and love. It's yeah. part two of some more love. <laughs> some more loving. For more loving. Yes. Yeah, give me a spoonful of that. <laughs> All right, listeners, thank you for tuning in again, and thank you, our amazing teachers here. Oh yeah. Uh, well, we have <laughs> Roey, Mike. Oh, Derek. And our wonderful compare, Pratik. Yes. Well, you know, last time I left you with a question, and I'm sure students are looking forward to what you think about it. Uh, what advice do you have for our students about love? <sighs> yeah, that's a good one. That's a good, good, uh, good question. Yeah, right. Yeah. Well, I, I've, uh, I've had like, some students come up to me and said, um, you know, oh, I've got a, 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 it's Valentine's Day. I'm so lonely. Um, and there's, they, 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 they seem so kind of um, like sad about it or, or even stressed. Mm. And I said, it's okay. Danger. <laughs> it's okay. Don't, it, you, you are so young and mm. you've got your whole life to live. Um, and I just say, look, um, love is not a deadline. You can't put a deadline. Oh, on I love. like that. Love mm. is not a deadline. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I always say that partner is just around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you want them to go out and look for it or um, just patiently wait for it? Uh, well, that's a good question. I, I, yeah, I wouldn't I would just say be patient and, you know, um, uh, the, the right person will come along and you will know. You will the, you will, you'll feel know, it in your bones. You'll feel it in your bones. Your gut, your bones. Yeah. Yes. And, and yes. Be please be patient. <laughs> well, I'd say yeah. also it's a it's a good idea to to keep your eyes and arms open and, and look also, but don't don't search. Don't go crazy oh, yes, yes. digging around for love. Yes. It will come, but I think you also need to uh, play a good part in helping helping it come to you. Uh, for yeah. example, uh, things like your hobbies. Join some different clubs mm-hmm. and look, find people that enjoy the same hobbies. And that could be a really good way to find someone that's, that's very similar to you in certain ways. And that could be a nice start to a good relationship. So you want the students to be more uh, aware of what's yeah. happening around them. Notice more things. Exactly. Yeah, right? yeah. Mm. I think that's a great. And, and to pursue your own hobbies at the same time is a great way to make yourself feel good and, mm. and, and make yourself feel ready. I think, yeah, else. when you're more confident in yourself, you, you actually attract the right kind of person. Definitely. I yeah. agree. Yeah. That's, that's step one. Yeah. yeah. Love that's yourself. Love yourself. Yes. And, but, yeah, and feel confident yeah. with yourself. Don't I know be it. obsessed with yourself. No, yeah, no, no. Love <laughs> yourself. Yes. This is true. Yes, don't look in the mirror every five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Roy, what do you think? Um, what I've learned over, is that over time, your ideas about love will change. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you can't set things in stone you can't be oh my ideal person is this person and that's all i'm gonna yeah that's the only for. kind of person i want if, yeah and then you meet somebody who let's say is really nice and you truly get along with but then in your mind you're like but this is not the ideal person that i yeah. have in my mind right. so i think that's not that's something that you shouldn't do or yeah. try to avoid doing that because mm-hmm. you're gonna grow up you're the person you are now it's gonna change the person I was before and the person I am now completely different and the person that you know you'll meet is also going to change over time I think relationships work better if you both grow together yeah right? mm-hmm. oh yeah yeah yes. definitely because you can't be like oh I'm a, this person and that person is that person and then you can't expect that person to be the same forever mm-hmm. that person's going to change too so you know ideals are great of course you should try to find a good person I'm not saying go for the bad guy or something like that but um, people change Mm-hmm. Right, ideas mm-hmm. change. So be open to meeting people, different kinds yeah. of people. Yeah, yeah. Right? People I who think make that's you a very happy. good point yeah. to mm. be to be you know uh, to be open to meeting different kind of people. Mm. Yeah, yes. not just sticking to the ones that you think. Oh, you know, this person's cool, mm-hmm. like me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But, or what yeah. society thinks is cool, or what your you know people around you say yeah. a, your romantic partner should be like. So yeah, like they say, opposites yeah. attract. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? They can do, yeah. I'd, can I'd say do. meet some, look for someone that you enjoy being with, yeah. mm-hmm. not someone that you think will look great. It's ideal, mm-hmm. or, yeah. or you know, other people will think, yeah. oh, they must be great because of 
because they're dating that person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. That's not going to make you happy. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Reminds me uh, of a quote that I read somewhere. A wise man once said, love is not when you look into each other's eyes, but when you look in the same direction. Mm. Ah. Oh. Mm. Yes. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> one direction. Same <laughs> direction, whatever it is. In, in one direction. <laughs> you look at one direction. <laughs> well, um, thank you for all those advice uh, and that brings us to the last question of the podcast. It's mm. going to be short and crisp. Uh, if you could go back in the past, well, let's not worry about that, but what advice would you give to your younger self uh, or your future self about love? Ooh. I'm more interested in younger self for younger some reason. Self. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. Because there's a lot of mistakes that I made, yeah. for yeah, sure. Yeah. This is Mike speaking. A lot of yes. mistakes I made in the past. And one of the biggest things that I learned was really clear communication is important Mm. to give the other person a very clear idea of your ambitions with the relationship Mm -hmm. what you like and also when you're unhappy with things Mm -hmm. to really give them a clear idea of it not attacking but just making people aware Mm -hmm. and I think when you have that clear communication both ways it really helps you to look in the same direction that's it yeah properly If you kind of, if you hold things inside and you think, oh, I don't want to say this negative thing because it'll upset the other person, mm. that will build. Walls. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it'll yeah. build walls, exactly. Mm-hmm. And you don't want walls. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember giving an advice to a student um, asking something along these lines. And I told that student that your partner can't read your mind. Yeah. So if you don't talk about it, you're just going to assume and assume and sh- the other person's going to assume and assume. And it's not, like you said, it's just going to build walls. It's mm-hmm. not really going to lead to you guys understanding each other better. So sometimes having that difficult conversation is better mm-hmm. than just thinking, okay, it will pass or maybe we'll get over this fight. But if you keep doing that over and over mm-hmm. again, then you're just going to have all of these Build you grow up. apart. Yeah. Eventually. Right? The it's, walls yeah. grow bigger and you grow yeah, apart. Yeah, wider. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Is, is that the advice you would give to your younger self? Actually, no. Um, the advice I would give to my younger self is a little bit what um, Mike and Derek were saying earlier. Um, I grew up Filipino, very conservative, all-girls school. So, And after I graduated, um, even in university, I... The good point was I focused on like enjoying myself with my friends and stuff, but I was also kind of like not as open to hanging out with guys or mm. becoming not that I hated guys, but yeah. because of my upbringing. Yeah, unfamiliar. I was yeah, it was unfamiliar territory. It was uncomfortable. Mm. I learned maybe later on, like um, over time, that oh, you know, you can actually be friends with guys, mm. and there's no issue with that because in the mm. Philippines there was. Now it's a lot better, but for a time, the lens that um, adults would use is that if you're friends with a guy, it means you're dating or like mm. something's mm. going on between the two of you uh, okay. and it would lead to a romantic relationship. Mm-hmm. It was very conservative mm. before. So, you know, if you tell your mom, I remember one time I went traveling with a couple of my friends. I was already here in Japan, so I was already an adult. I went to Taiwan with two of my guy friends and it was 10 days. It was only me. I was the only girl and two of my guy friends, my mom. I was very upset. Send me a message. Yeah. Did you marry them? <laughs> she you was should. like, why are you traveling with just two guys? And it's just you? And it's for 10 days? And you're yeah. the only girl? Like, she was so, like, surprised that I was yeah. doing that. And I was like, mom, <laughs> I think I'm, like, old enough. And these these are my really good friends. And I had a great time. And they were both gentlemen. And we're friends until now. So, yeah, maybe um, don't be too scared or too... Like, guys are people too. They're just mm-hmm. humans. They're like you. They get shy. They get confused. They get um, insecure and all sure. that. Sure. So. I think that's an excellent advice yeah. for mm-hmm. even our shy listeners. Yeah. You know, how mm-hmm. some people just are not comfortable with the opposite gender. Mm-hmm. But they're people too. Yeah, yeah that's it. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Derek, I can see that curiosity in your eyes. Oh, well, that, that, that connects beautifully to my, my advice. Oh. Um, of course, yes, I, I was very shy at school. And, uh, uh, and, and actually, uh, I, I, was, uh, I have no siblings, and uh, um, I, I, I got used to kind of having lots of time alone, mm. uh, especially in the holidays. Mm. Um, and um, yeah, I, I didn't really, um, I wasn't really sociable, I think, uh, in junior high school. 
Um, so the advice I would I would give myself is, um, yeah, don't be afraid of the unknown. Mm. Um, don't be afraid to go out and uh, meet new people. Yeah. I was quite closed, quite shy. So um, naturally, if you yeah. don't have any siblings and things. Yeah. Uh, so That's yeah, familiar. and uh, yeah, I was painfully shy. So it's very hard for me to 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 go to parties. And, so look at you now. And, uh, <laughs> ah! Look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <That's right>. um, <laughs> so yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. And uh, but uh, yeah, I just say to shy listeners and and uh, for my younger self to to don't be afraid to open up to other people. I think. Yeah, mm. and it it gets easier and easier, right? It's like mm. it's a skill, mm. yes. and if yeah. you practice chatting to people a little bit, asking mm-hmm. a few questions here and there. Yeah. You start to build relationships and then it gets easier and easier to talk to them. Yeah. Yeah. People Next skills. Time. Yeah. Yeah. People skills. Yeah. How about to young Pratik? Yeah. <laughs> you know, to be honest, as as rude as it may sound, I I was as oblivious as I am today. I'm <laughs> 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 I'm still exploring it. Yeah. Uh yeah, yeah. So maybe just uh, uh my only advice would be just keep exploring, keep mm-hmm. learning uh mm-hmm. about other people and you know. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Like you all said. Never yeah. stop learning. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd say as a, as a kind of a, a nice way to think about it is uh, love is an exciting adventure mm-hmm. that you learn from, not a scary thing that could oh, you could fall down on it and it could hurt you. Sure, but the adventure and the excitement is the biggest part. Mm-hmm. And when you go and see someone that you like and you want to talk to them, think of it like that. It's an exciting mm-hmm. new adventure that could open up mm-hmm. lots of experiences for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Before we close, I just want to, uh, you know, this is a thought, and I thought, I thought I would run it by you and see what you think about it. Uh, I've always thought that love is just a part of life. It's not the life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you all agree with it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, 100%. Yeah. Because I, I think our, our listeners can take that away from, from this podcast is that, you know, don't sell yourself short mm. uh, in a relationship. It's just a part of mm. your life. It's not your life. Yeah, I, did, yeah. I think it's, it'd be, it, it's unnatural to, to put everything onto your relationship mm-hmm. yeah. with one person, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, don't do that. Um, enjoy other parts of your life mm-hmm. and your friends yeah. and your hobbies mm-hmm. and yeah. things. That, and as cliche yes. as it may sound, love isn't just about like romantic relationships. It's mm-hmm. also about loving yourself, right? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Loving, loving the life that you have or mm-hmm. your family. Yes, yeah, friends. And yeah, friends. Yeah. Yeah, love your hobbies. Mm-hmm. Love your hobbies. Yeah. I love my guitar. Yes, <laughs> yeah. keep with passion. Keep loving that mm-hmm. guitar. Yeah, every day. Don't let it go. No way. <laughs> Hold it tight. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, that brings us to the end of the podcast. It was lovely, lovely knowing oh, you. Oh yeah, yeah. Thank you for time. tuning in. I learned in. a lot today, and hopefully our listeners did too. Yeah. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Mm-hmm. We're coming back in March with a surprise, you guys. Ooh. So wait for it. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, let us know what you think by well liking our videos, subscribing to the channel and adding also comments. adding some comments with uh, topics and ideas and if you'd like to come onto the podcast, we'd love to have a few students yeah. or LAs or different staff members of the QS community mm-hmm. to come on and share their opinions and yes. ideas as Just well. Just find us in QS8 or maybe write a comment and we'll find you. Yeah, write a comment <laughs> and we'll find you. Exactly. This was the QS8 Podcast. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. I love you.